Hello, welcome to the child's site. Just an alpha demo. It's just an alpha demo. So of course progress is gonna be it's a work it's a work in progress. It looked like an interesting game, let's just get into it. Insane mode. Oh. There's some camera that keeps on zooming up to some creepy baby doll baby doll's face. Uh, updates and patch notes, sound fixes, new UI, new AI added, and frame rate fix. Well, I hope I don't have to deal with any frame rate issues, but hey. Story mode, chapter one, dust from the past. Something about a teddy bear, something about the doll, something about Christmas? Crib? More crib. And then, who knows. Okay, well, let's just, chapter one. Let's do it. The souls with missing eyes cannot see. It waits in the dark for you or me. A child's eyes are innocent and pure. With its smile it will try to lure. But don't go near for it is made with sin. It looks for newborns or next of kin. I see. At least the squeaky chandelier thing ended. Objectives. Explore the attic. Optional. Well, I want to do the optional. Inspect the toys and find the lost notes. I want to do all the optionals. Pick up. Ooh. Spiffy. Explore. As long as the objectives don't go away, because I want to remember. I want to remember all that stuff. Left mouse button to pick up notes. Rotate. E to pick up or view objects. When you are ready, press E on the crib to continue the game. At least the mouse cursor doesn't exit the game. Like, I'm playing in windowed mode, and it's one of those things I, I always say I fucking hate. Developers who make it so your mouse cursor goes outside the window, like you can't have a mouse cursor lock function. Like, that's so hard to program. Little penguin! And there's this thing! This is the suspicious... ...reindeer one from that uh, chapter selection. Don't trust the cuddly, puppy-eyed reindeer. I'm not sure if it's Rudolph or not, that's a red nose or not, since the brown filter hues of this game attic. Some blocks. Radio. For some reason, the FOV feels like it's really small, like this is like Fallout 76 FOV, where it's like 60 FOV, maybe? I'm so used to playing games in 90 or higher that it's just, this feels weird. Be kind to animals. State human office. Humane office. What the fuck is this? A ship. Oh. A blueprint on how to make a ship? Hmm. The ball is apparently not a toy. More ships. Note. It's funny how things seem bigger when you're a child. The world seems bigger, the shadows seem bigger, but then you grow up and realize how small life is. That's only if you stop dreaming. Like, what of the- what of astronauts? What of space explorations? You saying their world is small? No. It's only if you limit yourself as a cynical adult, thank you very much. I woke up feeling unsettled, scared, and not alone, but growing up, those memories started to fade, just like the paint on the crib where I used to sleep. Memories remained untouched, just like the toys I grew up with. Oh, so which toys were the evil ones, huh? E to remember a moment. Remembering a moment. What is this? Lost Odyssey? Ha! You'd only understand if you played Lost Odyssey. Three fears unlocked. More fears will unlock as you progress more. As you progress more. Inside the closet, when... When the closet door opens quickly, I'm sorry, when the closet door opens, quickly turn on the light, but be careful as the globe will break over time. Wait, is this like... Night blights? When you hear the knock, quickly turn out the light, or he will open the door. Okay, this is gonna be difficult to remember. Keep the music playing, 
or he'll move faster, so if it stops, turn it back on. Okay, so it's like Five Nights at Freddy's 2. When you hear the knock, quickly turn out the light. Okay, knock equals lights. Try to get, put it in the grouping of you're trying to sleep and you hear a knock like your mother's knocking on the door and you have to pretend you're sleeping sort of thing. Inside the closet, when the closet door opens, quickly turn on the light, but be careful as the globe will break. Guess what they, I guess they mean the light bulb. Hmm. So just don't keep it on a lot or else the age will expire in the light bulb, I guess. Use the right mouse button to fill up the sleep icon. When your icon is full, you will fall asleep and progress further. Alright. Space bar to sit up. Go to sleep. Interact with objects. Ah. Uh. Oh, jeez. Um. Yep. Okay, I put you back. I don't trust you. I don't get what... So wait, where's the lamp? Closet door. I can't remember what it said it... That's the knocking. I'm just gonna keep sleeping up until the carousel stops. Because I don't see what closet door they're talking about. I can't remember now. Something about a lamp, but I didn't see a lamp anywhere around me. <laughs> Fuck some ugly ass fat older brother scaring me? When the closet door opens, turn on the light. Okay. What light the fuck are they talking about? Oh! Wait, you're just back to the main menu? Weird, okay. Back to the main menu? I was just like, I was doing a mini game. Oh, wait, no, wait. Sorry, it says when you're ready, press E on the crib to continue the game. Oh, I wasn't hitting E on the crib, I was hitting E on the note on the crib. I, I didn't think I was actually progressing the game, okay. Now I know what it was talking about. Explore the attic is optional. I'm not sure if it'll check off if I've seen everything, but this is the crib I was sleeping in. The question I have to... I don't think there's anything else for me to search to learn more about the story, except for this note over here. If I die, would he die? The way I viewed the world is the way he wanted to live, so if I die, would he? Big question then, who is he? Anyways, let's get, I guess, just go back to the... The Derby Gazette. We had to find out what the lamp is. Okay. When the closet door opens, quickly turn on the light, but be careful. Okay. Says something about turning on the light. That's all I... And turn out the light. I don't need to turn on the light unless I heard a knock. But where is the fucking light? Turn off. Light. Light. I can't move my mouse up or down. Sit up. Oh, sit up. Oh, oh shit. Um, my mouse cursor started going outside my fucking screen. Wait, um. Okay, I get it, I get it. But when was I supposed to sleep then? I need to sleep to progress. Oh, and the light. Shit. Let's turn that off. Okay, so basically, I don't know how long I need to keep... There we go. They have a sound notification when he closes the door. Okay. So I just have to do that. Listen for the door to open, all the rest is sleeping, and making sure that bulb lay on the bottom left, which is yellow, doesn't go all the way. So this is easy. Easy, easy. 
All these noises just don't have any consequence. Knock knock. Just have to listen for the knock knock. Outside of that, there's nothing else you need to do. That was weird. Make multiple opening noises. It sounded like the kid opened the door then knocked. It was kind of weird. I like how it's like the baby is just trying to sleep, closes his eyes, and then as soon as the carousel stops, the baby's like, <laughs> just fucking instantly wakes up to activate it. No drowsiness, nothing. It's just... <gasps> fucking carousel, how dare you fuck stop! <laughs> Get out of here. Wait, where the fuck that little... doll there sitting on the bed come from? Hmm. Alright, back to sleep. We're about to finish it. And... done. Ha. Huh. Memories reload. New chapter unlocked. Really? Oh wow. Yeah, thank God. Sure. Oh wait, what do you mean? Wait, chapter unlocked. Does that mean I'm, I'm, me clicking chapter two was just me remembering? Oh, I don't want to do this. I didn't want to do that. I think I just finished the demo simply. It's just explore the attic and this one scene. Uh, quit. Just... There we go. Okay. Story mode, we only have just from the past, and this one's still locked. None of the other ones are unlocked. There's also an infinite amount of arrow clicks we can click, even though it's vanished. Alright, well, that is, I guess, that that's it for the alpha demo. Literally, it's just the... One is the exploration phase, and the other is the FNAF, or almost Night Lights phase. Um... Wait, did the game just shrunk in size? Why did it turn to 720p by hitting settings? Weird. Alrighty then, well it went to 720p mode for some reason when hitting settings. There's one bug maybe the developer can uh, fix, because I, I specifically put it by 1600 by 900 in windowed mode, and then hitting settings made it go to 720p mode, which I'm guessing is like default native I don't know, either way. That was the child's site. If you enjoyed and you look forward to more, let the developer know in the comments below. Maybe they will see it and read what you have to say about the game. So, be fully advised. It's, it's If you want to try and hope that you, as a viewer, can give your suggestion to any developer, whether it be this game or any other game, and I'll just have to remind people, leave it in the comments below and the developer may just be the one to look at the video, read the comments for feedback, and be able to listen to your feedback. So be sure to leave a comment, constructive criticism, um, what you like about the game or dislike about the game, things like that. It'll help the developer. That's one of the good things about playing indie games like this and having an indie game channel, is developers genuinely, generally, genuinely, look for feedback to make their game better. Unlike if I played AAA games, the developer and the giant company doesn't give a shit what the fuck you had to say. They're just going to push through with whatever the fuck they want. But indie games and indie developers typically want to know who their demographic is and, you know, what you want, what you like, what to fix, and what you perceive that may help them. So that's always a good thing. So leave comments, because I play a lot of indie games. It may help the indie developer grow because of your comments. So with that said and done, I hope you enjoyed this alpha demo. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.